on Peyton, does this bring back, is it similar to how he ran things in New Orleans for you? Uh, for the most part, um, we got a lot of guys that are a lot of the coaches that's been in this offense. So I feel like we pulled a little bit from everywhere. So it's pretty much the same offense. So I didn't have to learn too much. Was it exciting in, in free agency when, when you knew that he was interested in, and the Broncos were interested in bringing you here? Yeah, it was. Um, I think during that whole process, just try to figure out my options, where I was going to go. And then when I got the call from here, I thought it was going to be a great opportunity. So I was excited and happy. What was it about that, that 2021 season? I think it was. You had 600 yards or so. What 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 went well for you that year? How did you sort of like carve that role? In the Opportunity, offense? really. Um, we had a couple guys go down, and I had to step up. So I think that was the biggest thing that season and that year. And hopefully, um, do the same this year. With Tim going to... down, do you feel like that's the opportunity that that you're looking for to, to take his role? Me personally, yes, but I know it's an opportunity for a lot of guys. I know recently we lost a couple of receivers, so I know that would be a big a big opportunity for a whole bunch of us. So just hoping that I'm one of them that can be able to fill in those spots. But, you know, it's a great room, a lot of guys that's fighting for those spots. How good is this receiver, receiver room compared to the ones you've been in the past? I've only been in uh, one in the past, but, you know, the receiver room here is different, you know. Obviously, every guy's different, personality, playing-wise. So it was good getting to know these guys off the field to see how they do it on the field compared to the guys back there. You know, same thing. Everybody's different. Everybody comes from different backgrounds. Um, <clears throat> I feel like the only thing different is this weather, man. Y'all be. I'll be killing me with this weather. One time, y'all say it don't rain, then it rained. Oh, I don't know. We can go against that another time. But <laughs> what do you have to show in your mind to make the team? Sir, what do you have to show to make the team in your mind? Um, just consistency, um, being being reliable. You know, like I said, a lot of good guys on this team. It's great receiver core, and you know, I'm an outsider coming in and just trying to um, fit my way in. You didn't quite have the same numbers last year without Sean. So what is it about the Sean Payton offense that benefits receivers like you? Um, honestly, honestly, I just feel like the opportunity that I had in his offense and at that moment was really what strided me because we went the whole – we went the whole off season, went, went everywhere not knowing what was going to happen, you know, injuries, guys coming in, guys leaving. So just when the opportunity was there, you had to take it. Or like I said, it doesn't wait for anybody. So I was just fortunate enough to be in that position. You've known Brandon Johnson for a long time, I think, went to college with him. Mm -hmm. What's he like as a guy and what's it like being reunited? Oh, man, I got all types of stories about Brandon, man. But, nah, it's great. Um, I knew once I figured I was coming here, he was one of the first guys I hit up and told him, you know, um, let's run this thing back. I know, like you said, we went to college together. We came in together um, as freshmen, so we've been through a long ride. And just seeing him now, seeing the opportunity he's getting from, like I said, when <coughs> – <laughs> Excuse me. When Tim went down, you know, just seeing the opportunity that he's getting and how he's taking a hold of it, and just seeing how he's changed since from Tennessee to UCF to now here. So it feels like we've grown on the same path together in a sort of way. Keep, you you like keep track of guys. Passes? Keep track of guys when you come into college with them. No of, matter, so of course, go, yeah. of course. I can't wait to play Josh Palmer uh, <laughs> coming up. Yeah. So, what's it like catching passes from Russell Wilson? How do you think he's doing this game? Oh, he's doing good, man. You know, um, I don't know what was going on last year, but, you know, I'm here this year, so this is all I know from him. Just seeing him from the past and what he's been doing and what he is, it feels like I'm playing with a living legend. So, um, like I said, I'm happy out here. We're still learning, trying to work out everything together between us. But, no, nah, it's great catching him. Did I hear you say, though, that you broke your ears and you admitted that? I did not. I did not. Don't put those in my mouth. I did not. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just making sure. Man. I said uh, I left the place where it rained all the time. And when I got here, y'all said it don't rain or it barely rains. And now all of a sudden it's raining. Up. <laughs> it's been storming too, like not even baby rains. But mm. Sh a couple Sean more. talked about, he said up here today that he talked to the team about procedure penalties, the pre-snap stuff. Where does that rank? You know him. Where does that rank on the stuff that will irritate him? I mean, it seems like he was. I mean. I was y'all get y'all get to learn Sean and how he operates, but um, you know a lot of small things that can get yourself beat is what irritates him. From what I picked up, like beating yourselves is one thing that he tries not tries to instill in us that um, we're not gonna win and beat the opponent if he 
can't even if we're beating ourselves. So yeah, that's definitely one of the top things that gets under the skin. You have ha ha as a tattoo from you. What's that for? Uh, it's Joker. Oh, is it? It's Joker. Mm -hmm. You love the character. Do I? A little too much. <laughs> <laughs> A little too much, man. But hey, Russell. <laughs>